Hi there, this is Annika, the founder at Mummy Made This, a company I created to inspire creative play in children and share with other like-minded parents things that do and don't work for, for me and just build a, a community of like-minded parents really to support each other. Today I want to talk about saying no and I really feel it's like an art of saying no. I often say yes, I say yes to far too many things and I find that much easier than to say no. But I have been trying three things lately to um, to help me to say no. One is to really remind myself that when I say no to certain things, I'm actually saying yes much more consciously to the things that really matter to me. And it enables me to be that calmer, more present person and parent for the things that really, really matter to me. And that is, I think, the most important driver within me that really helps me do that. Two... Um, a little trick to help me say no, I end up creating rules that more for me than for anybody else to um, help me stick to the saying no. So for example, screens in our house, um, we've created a rule, there's no screens before 4.30. And that makes that what before used to be a bit of a grey zone of, oh, well, maybe we could do a bit earlier and oh, all right, then if you really want to. And, um, and that when that people pleasing tendency comes out in me or when I feel like actually oh, I really need to get some work done and I'm going to um, just just bend the rules a little bit by having a really, really clear rule for myself. Um, that has helped me to be much clearer for my children. And I think that's actually helped my kids. And now now they they know the rule. We, I know the rule. And it's it's helped establish a much cleaner boundary that I think has been benef beneficial for everybody so that's the second one and then the third tip was something I read about another, the other day uh, and that sort of ties in with the first thing that I was talking about and this mum was saying by saying um, yes to too many things you can sometimes end up being over capacity and I certainly know that that when I'm at capacity, even though I'd love to give my children, you know, a, another play date or another day out or another whatever, actually, it will not, it's not the, the thing that will serve the family best, neither me nor them, ultimately, and it will end up with everybody being overtired, including me, and therefore, it will be tricky for, for that family or for me to be able to be that calm person to be able to um, help the family stay centered and calm and and therefore actually there's no point in saying yes to to that extra play date or whatever if it means it takes tips me over the edge of being at capacity and therefore that's another really helpful reminder um for me to be able to say no with a with a clear conscience and then finally i want to share with you this book that my sister shared with me um by jesper yule um the art of saying no. That's it for me today. Hope you have a lovely rest of your week.